now, age-wise. 20. Okay, so you're no longer a teenager. Nope. So you can't pitch like a teenager anymore. <laughs> That's right. Which Coach talked a little bit about. Hang on a second. Yep. Technologically, here we go. Coach pretty much threw it out there. He said that he wants you to be the leader of a pitching staff that's got a lot of veterans, a lot of young guys. How prepared do you feel to be that guy? Um, you know, each and every day. Um, you know, Coach uh, AD's been having a plan from the first day we started throwing. It's kind of building up to the season. So, I mean, uh, <laughs> come February 13th, it should be ready. You, know, you probably got tired of these questions last year, but you kind of personality-wise reminded us of Aaron Nola. You saw what he did for three years. You saw up close right. what he did last year. Is that daunting to think about stepping in and being the next guy? Uh, no, not really. Um, just kind of, I've always, my whole life, I kind of dreamed of being, you know, the Friday guy or, I mean, starting open a night for, uh, for other shoot at the box. So, I mean, uh, it's kind of a dream come, come in, coming into reality. So, I mean, just kind of looking forward to it. I think the way Coach Call you said you were the dude in high school, and it kind of feels like you've got that capability here. You didn't have to be last year because of Aaron. With all these freshmen now, do you feel like you have to be kind of a trendsetter or somebody they can follow? Um, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, at the same time, there's no, there's, there's not, like you said, there's not Aaron. But I mean, uh, I mean, we got a lot of guys out here that's, that's very, very special. Um, so I mean, as a group, as a group, as a team, I think we can come together and um, hopefully we can exceed expectations for last year. How good are those freshmen now that you've been around them for a, a semester and a half? Yeah, I mean, they definitely uh, impressed me. You know. Um, out there in the fall, a little bit in the spring, um, lit, up the, lit up the radar guns and was able to get a lot of guys out this fall. So it's kind of excited to see what uh, 12,000 fans in the stands can can, uh, can do for them. As much as you might motivate them, do they motivate you too to make sure you keep, stay, I guess, keep your spot, stay where you're at? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I always pick with them. They always pick with me. Um, it's kind of just a competition thing to keep each other, um, keep keep getting better. And uh, anytime you know, competition always brings the best out of someone. So, coach also said that he could see them make a jump from fall to now working with AD. You went through that as well. What is that? I mean, what does he do from? The end of fall practice to now to get young guys uh, ready. Just, that's just kind of AD. Um, he knows a lot about the game. Um, I mean, we started throwing. Um, I mean, we were throwing a fall. It was shut down for a few weeks, and then starting. Uh, I think we started December first. Uh, he's just got a good plan. Um, just kind of build up there. We stick with the plan and uh, stick with working out and everything, and um, it just kind of I don't know. It just it just happens.